The problem of space junk can be solved in two ways, says Luisa Innocenti, head of the European Space Agency's Clean Space Office. The problem of the space debris has to be fixed in two ways. First one, we need to stop polluting. Uh, and second way, we have to remove the garbage, if you want, and the debris. Both methods are hard to implement. There is no international treaty for minimizing space debris, although individual nations have rules for deorbiting dysfunctional equipment or removing it to the so-called graveyard orbit. In the meantime, the amount of junk keeps growing because occasional collisions create additional smaller pieces that cannot be controlled or captured. ESA scientist Jesus Gil Fernandez says the agency is experimenting with a robotic arm that could capture larger pieces and move them to safer areas. We use the camera which is mounted on, on the smaller robot arm to mimic, to reproduce the motion of the satellite around the, the, target, uh, the, the target satellite that we want to deorbit, to capture. Italian scientist Michel Lavagna says old satellites could be captured with special nets. So the concept is to, uh, let's say, to mimic uh, what the fishermen uh, do uh, in, on, on the sea and so to have a very large net to stay away from our debris and uh, med satellites that is stumbling and moving uh, freely and then from that distance to uh, uh, keep our net and, and you just try to wrap all over your, uh, your satellites. Others, like ESA's Benoit Bonvoisin, study the possibility of building satellites that could be less hazardous and lower the pollution of both space and Earth. Right now we're trying to understand what happens to the materials we use, and then we'll see how we can improve them, how we can work on the design and conception of the satellite, how the different parts of the satellite break up in relation to each other, in order to have a satellite which is safer at the end of its life and creates the smallest amount of debris on Earth. But for now, there are no dates set for the first real-life space junk pickup. George Putich, VOA News.